Xbox doesn't care about us and is scamming us. What's up, Xbox moderators? My name is Sacramento Love, and you might be thinking this isn't anything new, and it isn't, I just want to emphasize on a few things. Just bear with me. If you've been watching my channel for quite some time, I'm sure you guys remember that circus act that Xbox pulled off on me. They banned me while I was recording, so I posted the video and ranted. So in turn, they banned the account that was associated with the gamertag they banned. Knifing activity. It was a big deal because this was my childhood account. All my friends, all my achievements, all my heartbreaks, all my joys, everything, all my fun, all my love, all my hard work, just all of my childhood went into that account. Only used a knife, 0% accuracy on every game ever played, gone. Banned for a lifetime because I made a rant video just making fun of Xbox enforcement. If you guys remember those videos, one of them got like 100,000 views or something, which was good because a lot of people heard my voice. And then they console banned me. Okay, this isn't new. But I want to emphasize on this. I miss my knife activity account, and the email is just a painful reminder. Xbox keeps sending me this shit like, Knifey activity, get this from us, buy this, don't forget about your game pass. But you fucking banned the account forever, what do you mean? And I know this is a newsletter that I can probably like fix by unsubscribing, but that's not the point. The point is, they banned the account for zero reason, and then they spam their giant Microsoft sized dick in my face. And at this point, they're only teasing me. They know the account has an indefinite ban, but they don't want to fix it for money. They're just like, Oh, knifey activity, you want to play some games? You, you could get this for free, but you can't because you're banned. Want to log into your account? Oh, too bad, we banned you. Xbox, you wish you had a dick as big as mine. It's not right banning someone and then taunting them with a banned account, reminding them that the account is banned from Xbox, but the email could still be used to buy your shit. Oh, and the email could be used in the forums, not sure if the forums are still moderated, but you ban emails from the forums anyway. The Xbox Karen is in the same situation. Well, every banned gamertag is, because you ban a player, but still use their email to promote your shit. Just earlier, I got a notification telling me to get the Game Pass or something. But how can I get it if you ban the account? And if that's not bad, after you get banned, Xbox sends you an email saying, We hope to see you back on Xbox soon. Oh, so you expect me to just accept the wrongful suspension and then continue to feed you money? Well, I post videos so you know I have to, but other players, they go to PC and PlayStation. You lost the console war for a reason. All because your enforcement team has a quota to meet, without any regard to innocent players that just want to have fun. My point is, Xbox, or video games in general, are like therapy to someone. I once felt so depressed and forgot all about it when I was just building up my Nafi Activity account. And a lot of players feel the same way. They spend their hard-earned money on an Xbox, make friends, build memories, find joy and therapy in it. But you can take it away because your enforcement team doesn't pursue evidence and relies on their quota to get paid. Don't you think that's slimy? Do you not feel bad for banning a player that's been a customer for years? Or a player that's an innocent little kid that was harassed by someone? The idiot that scammed me is still on the looking for groups. He wasn't banned. And he continues to scam people that don't know any better. My video is visual evidence. Why is it so hard to just ban someone that is scamming kids? Oh, right, because all you care about is money and your pride. And I'm not saying it's bad that Xbox only wants your money. They are a business and they need to make money. I understand that. But wouldn't it make more sense to not draw players away with wrongful bans and then ask for more money? Don't you think it would be better to just show that you care so the customers could willingly make you money? Maybe acting upon the terms of service more so people could take it seriously? Because right now, no one takes that shit seriously. You only show it to the parents and guardians so they see and go like, oh, that's cool, they enforce these to make sure my child stays safe, here's my money. Until you realize they don't care and you can't get a refund. Okay, they're only trying to buy your heart. Next thing you know, Xbox enforcement bans you, support says they can't do shit about it, and the Xbox safety team says, oh sorry for your loss here, feel free to buy another Xbox. They can't even refund you for your games if you get banned or at least give them back. You know how many times I had to buy Black Ops 2? <laughs> yeah, yet they're gonna try to encourage people to send them more money. Yeah, no, this is a scam. Maybe get rid of the quota thing at Xbox Enforcement and give them good leadership. 
With all the resources you have, it's not hard banning a scammer or something and unbanning an innocent person. You don't refund a person who was banned, but you don't ban a scammer. So in a way, if you didn't know any better, you're fucked either way. Because if Xbox enforcement doesn't ban you, then a scammer is just gonna have it. I don't know. I grew up with the 360, I have so many good memories over a video game, but I'm no longer that little kid, and I see what you're doing. It's not right. But then again, it's your business, you're losing customers, and it's your fault. You're doing this to yourself. Players are leaving Xbox because of you, alright? The console war thing is pretty much over, PlayStation outsold the fuck out of you, yet you're gonna ask people you banned for more money? That's ridiculous. That's like you scam someone, then block them, then you come back later and go like, Yeah, okay, can you send me a few hundred dollars? I don't know, if you keep being like this, you won't have any money to make another console. And PlayStation will be way ahead of you like it is now, and you're gonna be like, Spare change. Maybe next time, listen to your community. That's all I could say. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video and I am out. Goodbye.